I'm Mariah Ramharak presenting today's Zone Updates. Following his suspension, which was driven by allegations of impropriety in April of 2023, Aubrey Hodgson has returned to his role as president of the Athletics Association of Guyana, AAG. However, Hudson has been coy about seeking re-election when executive posts are contested in approximately three months. The events surrounding Hudson's return to the post remain unclear. President of the Guyana Olympic Association, Godfrey Munro, has defended his organization's strategy to delay seeking assistance from World Aquatics in their attempt to resolve issues with the Guyana Amateur Swimming Association. Monroe, who was speaking on Tuesday's edition of the Sportsmax Zone, says his office was deliberate in taking the Dwayne Scott-led association's assurances that they were actively trying to seek resolutions before pushing for mediation from the sport's global governing body. When discussing this issue with with uh, Gasser led by Dwayne Scott, that there was a commitment to honor those um, those positions as stated and outlined, and which was always to remedy the position. But then we always saw a shifting of the goalposts, you know, uh, an attempt to say that a letter was required, um, you know, that a, a document was sent and so on. So we were at, at all times given without going to World Aquatics because we didn't want to put it out there before we given Gasser the opportunity to remedy the situation. But as I, as I indicated, our action was premised on non-action and no attempt to bring remedy to the situation. The World Anti-Doping Agency, WADA, now has 20 days to appeal the International Tennis Integrity Agency, ITIA's decision to forego any punishment of US Open champion Yannick Sinner who twice tested positive for an anabolic steroid in March. Tuesday marked the end of Nado Italia, Italy's anti-doping agency's appeal deadline, meaning WADA is now the only organization that retains the right to challenge Sinner's exoneration. Deshaun Watson, quarterback for America's National Football League side, Cleveland Browns, has denied allegations of sexual assault and battery that were levied in a civil lawsuit filed earlier this week in Texas. The NFL on Tuesday said it is reviewing the complaint under the personal conduct policy. Well, that was your first zone update for today. For details on these stories and so much more, log on to sportsmax.tv. Watch Sportsmax and all live sports action anytime, anywhere on the Sportsmax app. Download it now from the Google Play Store or the App Store.